Good morning, Riverside. This is the Blue Jays News Report, and I'm Oliver. And I'm Carrie. And I'm Marissa. Today is Thursday, October 3rd, 2013. We have one birthday to announce today. Jasmine and Mrs. Rosewood's class. Happy birthday. Look, there's something on your shirt. Oh, Mrs. Schwann must have stuck it on me when I walked past her. There's a birthday in her class. It's a summer birthday. Mackenzie in her class. Don't forget to stop by the office for your birthday pencil. And now for the weather. The temperature this morning is 55 degrees with the possibility of some rain. We are expecting a high temperature of 69 degrees with a 70% chance of rain. In other news. news. Today the Riverside Chess Club starts with their practice after school in the art room. If you are going to chess club, make sure you have a ride lined up for after school. Also, there's Homer Club after school in the IMC. Don't forget, on Wednesday, October 9th, we will be celebrating Unity Day. This is part of National Bully Bullying Awareness Month, in which we stand together against bullying. To be part of Unity Day, please wear orange next Wednesday. It can be a shirt, sweatshirt, sweater, socks, belt, shorts, if it's warm enough. Do you know what I heard? No, what? I've heard the students are not remembering the rules when using the bathroom. Again. Oh boy, maybe they need a refresher? Great idea. Let's see what proper bathroom behavior looks like. All right, thanks Oliver, Carrie, and Marissa. Yeah, we're having some problems in the bathroom, so I'm gonna show you this real quickly. This is called the PBIS matrix. It's a chart that's hung up all around school, and uh, students, it tells you what you need to do in every area of the school, including the playground, how to be safe, respectful, responsible, and productive. So check it out as you walk around the school hallways. Um, as we walk towards the bathrooms, I'm understanding from Mr. Ron we're having some difficulty keeping the bathroom clean, using too much soap, um, and too much paper towel. So check out right here, there's uh, rules for the restroom behavior right in front of you as you walk in. You know, make sure you take a look at that, review those things, respecting property and privacy, flushing the toilet, washing your hands, making sure you throw your garbage in the trash. Make sure you use that number one voice limit in here because it does echo and it gets to be quite loud. All right, let's move over to the source of the issue here and that would be the soap dispenser right in front of me. Boys and girls, you only need one pump of soap. One pump, and then you get some water and you lather up your hands and you get them nice and clean and rinse them off. And you turn the corner and lo and behold, there is the paper towel dispenser. Take one piece of paper towel, maybe two, but no more than two. Dry those hands off and make sure, if you're trying to be a basketball player, make sure it goes into the basket. That means the garbage can. And look, there's some that have missed and this makes the bathroom look kind of dirty. So make sure you pick up your paper towel and put it into the garbage can and then we'll have nice clean bathrooms. Thanks, back to you guys. It doesn't look so hard to do. And look how easy it is too. Let's try to remember to be respectful and responsible in the bathroom. Now it's time for our fundraiser update. Have you still believe fundraising items to friends or relatives yet? Remember that you can sell to relatives even if they are out of state. If you haven't sent emails, from the shopbelieve.com website yet, ask a parent or guardian to help you. You can still earn prizes and help your school. Lunchroom Lunch Star Update. Earning stars in the lunchroom yesterday were kindergarten, third, fourth, and fifth grades. Remember to watch the Yacker Tracker and keep your voices green. First and second, you need to work on your voice level. Now it's time for the drawing. Five winning tickets are Reed Schmidt in Mrs. Cornish, Cornish's class, Tommy Zhang in Miss, Mrs. Schwann's class, um, Libby King in Mrs. Rosewood's class, um, Colton Weinke in Mrs. Markert's class, and Mackenzie in Mrs. Rosewood's class. Um, don't forget to stop at the office to pick your prizes. Hey, I have a good joke for you. Okay, let's hear it. Why didn't the teddy bear eat his lunch? I don't know. Why did the teddy bear eat his lunch? Because he was stuffed. <laughs> Remember to be safe, respectful, responsible, and productive students. Please join your class in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Have a great day!